Hey guys, it's Jason with Stealthy SK, and today I'm going to be showing you how to earn a mirror in less than a week, with almost no investment and not juicing any maps. Back in Scourge League, I made many mirrors doing this exact strategy, so with a slightly different build and a little bit more investment, but after some testing, this build does just fine, and I can go over it for the next video if you guys would like to know how to build this. Just to show you how much you can make, I'm going to go over some of the currency I've made in the last 4 days of doing this strategy. So in terms of Chaos and Divines, uh, I made about 55 Divines, so take out the 16 extra, um, and the rest came from this strategy. You also pick up a few little random currencies, which I'm not going to even count into this. I started off the strategy with doing Incandescence. This is all the Incandescence I made, as well as a few Invitations. Now where a lot of the money comes from is going to be your Essences. As you can see, I've made thousands and thousands of essences, um, all from this strategy in the last four days. Not only that, I made all these invitations when I swapped over to Screaming Invitations, which is a ton of currency again. And last but not least, I made a ton of uh, extra maps. So all these synthesized maps, seven Cortex maps, um, just, just a ton of them everywhere, 13 of these, um, and then hundreds of sets of these. So just in what I showed you, that's already quite a bit over a mirror worth of items in just 4 days. Now I'm going to make some clips to show you how the strategy works, and then we'll get into how to build the strategy. Now this build, I built for like 4 div or something, it was like nothing. Um, it can't run every mod, so I searched for rare. Um, make sure that I identified and then I scour them and the rest I want to run right and magic if there's magic. Make sure you take some remnants of corruption because that'll be a big currency maker. And then grab some maps. I usually get four rows of it. Now to start, I'll go over my atlas real quick. It's pretty simple. I just have all the map nodes as well as all the essence nodes because essence is going to be one of your main source of currency as well as shaper and guardian maps um, and that's pretty much it. I will have this link down in the description for you to be able to copy. In terms of your build, like I said, anything that goes super fast and go bosses will be good. If you, this is a lightning warp build, if you guys would like a tutorial, again, I can make it for next video, just go ahead and comment down. If I were you, I would set aside a um, stash tab just for the maps, and makes it easy to organize as well as get rid of the mods. And just like I showed earlier, I type rare, um, get rid of all the mods that have rare, and I could run any magic mod. Now after you've gotten all the invitations, all the essences and scarabs and all the stuff you get from this strategy, you need a way to sell them. So what I use is TFT bulk sell. Now if you don't know what TFT is, it's just somewhere you can bulk sell all the stuff you have. Um, so like if you wanted to bulk sell essences, you go to the essence tab, etc. Um, and then people buy them very, very quickly. It's the fastest way to get rid of bulk items. Now once you've gone to the Discord and got in, you're gonna wanna go to TFT bulk sell and connect your account. And say I want to sell divination cards. We'll click the divination. We'll put whatever price we want. The lower the price, the easier it is to get it sold. Um, we'll go ahead and click on the. Where is the. 
We'll click on the divination select tab. It'll price out what you have in divination cards. You can generate text. Go to the divination cell. Post that. Generate image. It'll click the image. And you post the image and that's it. And that's how you bulk sell. And you'll end up getting a message in Discord from someone trying to buy it all. One last thing for the strat. Um, in terms of what you want to corrupt for essences, um, these last four, if you see any of these, you always want to corrupt it. They can turn into the super valuable ones. And besides that, I would only corrupt five plus essences. So if it has five of any of these essences, you corrupt it and then kill it. And besides that, I would only corrupt five plus essences. So if it has five of any of these essences, you corrupt it and then kill it. One last thing for the strat. Um, in terms of what you want to corrupt for essences, um, these last four, if you see any of these, you always want to corrupt it. They can turn into the super valuable ones.